Turning now to the latest on the Washington Bridge breakdown. This is a live look at 195 and the westbound lanes that have been closed for about two months now. This afternoon, Rideout released a new tool to help drivers navigate the traffic nightmare caused by the bridge shutdown. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us live now to go over how it works. Alex? Kim and Shannon, I think the worst part of this bridge shutdown is just not knowing how bad traffic will be. One day you can drive by with barely any issues in the nets. Well, you're stuck in traffic like we are right now. And this is why RIDOT released new data to give you a reference on what to expect. Bumper to bumper traffic has become the norm after the bridge was shut down 60 days ago. I have a uh, seven minute drive that ends up being a 62 minute drive. Um, I don't know what the governor was saying that it only took 10 minutes extra on top of what the travel time was. I haven't experienced that. Ex I, the only thing I've, I've experienced is gridlock. An impact write and state officials know is a reality, but. Is that, let's be accurate uh, because, you know, if, if people believe it's more than it is, then then our businesses are going to get impacted. That's why Rideout released new charts breaking down daily drive times by the hour on both sides of 195 as well as detour routes. We're going to provide a kind of a, a real time uh, comparison between what travel time was before and what travel time is now. However, it does not take into account any accidents or weather that could further delay your commute. And with no exact plan in place for the bridge, the frustrations are only growing. And we can only be patient for so long. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. So if we had a plan already in progress, then it would kind of ease the tensions. But with that not knowing, it's just going to be more aggravation to the commuters. And it took us about 10 to 15 minutes just to get to the Massachusetts state line where the chart then starts timing to how long it will take to cross the Washington Bridge. It claims that it will take about 25 minutes to get across. Of course, we just got to the state line, so we'll keep you updated with how long it actually takes. But for now, reporting live on I-95 or I-195, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. All right, Alex, thank you. Good luck with that drive. On Monday, Rhode Island lawmakers are holding an oversight hearing on the Washington Bridge breakdown. It begins at 3 o'clock Monday afternoon. Rhode Island DOT Director Peter Alvini, McKee Stafford, Joe Almond, and an outside engineer are all expected to answer questions. This Sunday will mark two full months since the sudden closure of the Washington Bridge westbound. When the bridge will be back open or if it can even be repaired are still big questions. State lawmakers hope to get some answers at an oversight hearing on Monday. We wanted to hear from people who've been sitting in traffic the last couple of months. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us live from East Providence with what she found out. Alex. <laughs> Well, Shannon and Kim, it's frustrating to be sitting in traffic. We're actually just waited in traffic. We were testing RIDOT's new tool that's supposed to give you a better time frame of how much traffic is on 195 and its detours. And after putting it to the test, the charts say it should have taken around 25 minutes to cross, and it actually took us around 40 minutes, not including the extra 10 to 15 minutes of traffic before the state line. And it's because of all of these traffic and these frustrations that people in the community are calling for accountability. For nearly two months, the Washington Bridge has been shut down and community members are still looking for answers. How did we get here? What happened? Uh, I mean, I was born and raised in Rhode Island, and as far as I know, they've always been working on this bridge. So what happened? On Monday, we expect to get some of those questions answered at a joint oversight hearing in the state capitol. We'll provide them everything that we know up to date. But not everyone is convinced. It's Rhode Island, so it'll be, uh, you know, best friends uh, talking to each other, and nothing is going to be done over it. You know, I don't have any confidence in the governor, the director, DOT, or what's going to happen at all. And many are calling for accountability. If I didn't do my job, I would be fired. Unfortunately, uh, you know, when it hits the fan, the director should be held accountable. Governor Dan McKee says the General Assembly could take action at the upcoming joint oversight hearing, but did not specify as to what that could look like. 
However, he pleads for people to be patient as they work to get more information. Let's not jump the gun on things, right? I think that, that we want to clarify issues that I think need to be clarified, and then we'll work with the General Assembly if there's anything that needs to be done in action. And we're open to uh, any way that we can improve the situation. But again, the most important thing right now is keeping people safe uh, and uh, making sure that we fix the bridge and we make sure we do it right. And we will be streaming streaming that joint oversight hearing on our website, WPRI.com. It's set to happen at Monday at 3 in the afternoon. As for the traffic, well, that's meant to stick around. We're going to go ahead and flip it over. We're going eastbound, but on the westbound side, you can see traffic is slowly but surely flowing through. Uh, but those delays aren't going to be there for a while as we, there's no timeline still as to when the bridge will be fixed. Reporting live on 195, this is Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. Alex, thank you. And here's a look at the new website Alex mentioned, Washington-Bridge.com, which includes a travel time dashboard for 195. RIDOT says this dashboard will be updated every five minutes. The website also includes charts for nine different routes, which compares the drive times during each hour of the day for the last week against the usual drive time before the bridge shut down. RIDOT says these charts will be updated every weekday.